Talking of winged beauty, there are few sights to equal the majestic splendor of an airliner in flight. Nor, for that matter, the new horizons of beauty that air travel opens up to us. From London Airport, we're traveling west across the Atlantic, across the face of Canada, almost to the Pacific Ocean on the other side of the continent. And the most spellbinding sight of all, the snow-covered beaks of the mighty Rockies. The Rockies, towering to heights of 13,000 feet and ranging for 400 miles through British Columbia and the United States, a once impassable barrier today traversed in one hour. And in this age of speed, we take the new shortcut across the Hudson Bay to one of the most beautiful cities in the world, Vancouver. In order of importance, Vancouver is only the third city of Canada, yet it's probably the most fabulous and versatile in the whole of the North American continent. For this is a city of contrast of old world and new, of the wonders of modern science and the traditions of ancient tribal customs. The Red Indian tribes are, of course, part of the country's romantic history, although their numbers are considerably fewer today than when the first white explorers came here with their guns and new diseases. A city of contrasts, geographically, commercially, and socially, where the mountains come down to the sea, where you can go skiing one moment and swimming in the Pacific the next. Even the streets and buildings illustrate the contrasts, old world and new. The way of life here is part British, part American, with such innovations like the supermarket, and super's the word, symbolizing the American influence. A city of contrasts, of sophisticated city life and the magnificent solitude of mountain slopes and forests. The whole green panorama can be seen from Prospect Point, itself a living museum of trees and shrubs. Vancouver is often called Canada's evergreen playground, and it's not difficult to see why with lovely settings like Stanley Park, 1,000 acres of natural grandeur and a variety of attractions, including a children's zoo. In the suburbs, building styles change again. Here, long, low, ranch-style homes are designed to fit in with the surroundings. Another strange yet typical sight is at Lionsgate Bridge, where ships enter the inner harbor, while to complete the picture, there are even tropical-looking beach scenes. Kitsilano Beach is one of many popular resorts, for although the snow-capped mountains often give the impression of a cold climate, the average temperature is in fact as high as 47.5. Undoubtedly, there's still a lot to be said for the expression, Go West, young man!